Hi, it's Rhonda with a world television premiere movie. Next on USA, up all night. And we have a great show for you tonight. Not only do you get to hang out with me all night, but you get to watch two out of this world movies. Later on, the Earth gets paid a visit by some irritable alien nymphomaniacs in revenge of the teenage vixens from outer space. Right now, it's more Martian madness in Vegas in space. I'm sure you're sitting at home saying, great. Another film about four cross-dressing astronauts who save the planet of drag queens. Oh, hum. But what really separates this movie from the many just like it is its mind-boggling special effects. You have to keep reminding yourself that it's only a movie. Spielberg, Schmielberg. We've got trauma with Vegas and space on USA up all night. Never seen before on television. Isn't this movie touching? You just don't hear guys express themselves like this anymore. Hot dog, you got a great set of knockers there, Steve. He's right, Steve. You really should be proud of those. Your intergalactical girly girl will return with more Vegas and space after these words from our sponsors. I think I can have fun with these space names. Your cutie of the cosmos would like once again to congratulate the Las Vegas Tourism Board for their continued excellence in choosing a perfect spokesperson. A woman's paradise. Vegas, I love you. I can hear the casinos filling now. Let's return to Vegas and space on USA Up all night. Your science fiction vixen will be right back with more USA Up all night and Vegas in space after these commercial messages. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me, Rhonda, USA Up All Night, P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. Returning you to Vegas in Space, your meteor mama thought you might be interested to know that Vegas in Space was not the original title of tonight's film. In fact, there were several other titles considered. Here's a quick list of them. E.T. The Extravagant Transvestites, Raiderettes of the Lost Plot, 2001 Space Idiocy, Star Wars, RuPaul Strikes Back, Planet of the Drapes, Uberella. Can't afford drugs? Watch this. I think they made a great decision. Let's return to Vegas and space on USA Up all night. It's your bedtime buddy here on USA Up all night. Rhonda's so excited because, well, we're watching Vegas and space, and it's never been seen before on television. But you know what it's time for? Well, you know what it's time for. It's time to play Guess Who's in Rhonda's Bed. Not sure if I want to guess because they look like they're having too much fun, or is it a day? We'll see. It is. <laughs> oh my gosh, you were having fun. <laughs> Let me introduce you. Wait, first of all, Miss X, the star of Vegas in Space. Hi, everyone. And wait, Philip R. Ford, the producer director of Vegas in Space. Hi, what are you doing up so late? <laughs> oh, <laughs> thank you for inviting us into your living room. And a lovely living room it is, too. Oh, you should put that away, though. You might. <laughs> Why did you leave that out? <laughs> <laughs> we can see you, too. 
<laughs> oh, now look at you. You are uh, you're dressed. You're outdressing Rhonda, both of you. Oh, this old thing. Come oh, on, yes, Rhonda. Just, no, oh, I don't care what I look like. <laughs> look at you, and there's bigger stones, bigger diamonds. Well, stick with me, baby. There's plenty more where this came from. <laughs> I love this. Okay. Time to free stuff. Free stuff, free stuff. Ooh, an actor's favorite words. All right, don't go anywhere because your planetary princess will be right back with more USA Up All Night and Vegas and Space, a movie you can't watch just once, but we'll certainly try. Yes. See you soon. Bye. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> gossip, gossip. <laughs> Me too. I, I have Miss X, the star of Vegas in Space. Hi. And of course, the producer director, which one must always have in their bed. <laughs> Philip R. Ford. It's great to be here, Rhonda. Now, now, this is really exciting because we are showing a special sneak preview on Up All Night. It's a revolutionary concept in motion picture exhibition. Yeah. This is a sneak preview like all the big studios do, and you can see it here tonight on USA, but it's going to be coming to a theater near you very, very soon. And look for it. And, and you know why it's here, because Rhonda gets whatever Rhonda wants. And that's the way it should be. We yeah. can't say no to her. She no. begged us for this I picture. Beg. We gave her the oh, break. She hardly had to beg. Well, it's the hair and the makeup. That's right. Big that's hair right. and big makeup. We were impressed. And, and outer space, where are you from? Well, we're from San Francisco, actually. Well, that's sort of a different planet. Somewhere between here and the planet Clitoris. <laughs> oh! I love Nardi producer directors, if I only had one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but we have more gossip. We have to talk to you more. Okay. Will you give us, like, like little inside tips, like, who was the naughtiest on the set? All right, okay, right. <laughs> These Vegas and Space women are so charming. They dress so nice, wear just the right amount of makeup, and don't you love that cute little giggle? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't they just the sweetest? We try. Let's get back to the movie on USA Up All Night. Your girly girl's having the best time in bed with Miss X. And Philip. My favorite place. Well, if you're not happy, I'm not happy. Aww. And you know what, Rhonda? Yeah. I've got a surprise for what, you. What, what? A toy? Because you're my favorite couple. Oh, oh. <laughs> Your very own <laughs> Vegas in Space <gasps> t-shirt. Oh, my beautiful. gosh. It is beautiful. Perfect for your bag. Oh, this it is. This is part of Troma's licensing there campaign I am. for the Oops, picture. There I am. Oops, excuse me. There I am. That's They're going to be on sale in all the markets where the film is opening in theaters in the next few months. And just in case... Wait, wait, let me you see. You haven't missed this. Mm -hmm. Glamour first, glamour, glamour last, glamour, glamour always. In case you forget. I would which never I, forget. No, I didn't no. think you ever would. But look at this. It's, it's, it's a babe's only world. And it is. This is my movie. I know. I should have been in it. You should have Maybe been. Maybe I can be in the sequel. Next one. Yeah, You're in Planet right. of the Drapes, I promise. Planet of the Drapes? <laughs> or Mars Needs Drag. All right. So look for these from yes, Don't Panic. These are great. They'll be playing. They'll be playing in theaters all over the country with these T-shirts. <gasps> and the gun. And the and gun. The gun. <laughs> We're waiting for the Princess Angel doll next. Oh, and maybe That's we'll right. show up. Action and, figure. And give a special sizzle kit. All right, your special space kit now returns you to Vegas in space, a movie that proves you don't have to spend a billion dollars and hire Arnold Schwarzenegger to make a movie that no one wants to see. No. See? Now, our cross-dressing investigators suspect the thief is Princess Angel. With a name like Princess Angel, how can you not suspect her? Hmm. Hmm. Makes hmm. you think. Isn't that tippy good in this movie? Oh, yes. Spectacular. But then you're biased. <laughs> oh, I'm biased <laughs> indeed. A downright bigot when it comes to tippy. <laughs> now, tell me, tell me, tell me that set direct, set design, whatever you people as do as producers. Own, uh, Doris Fish, in addition to starring in this film, is also the art director. She did every set design, every wig design, every makeup design the wig, by love. hand. The miniature effects, which I think set a new She painted everyone's face. She painted, painted everyone's face. In fact, sometimes by the time she got the 
the last person ready for a she shot. She didn't remember her the lines. The first one, well, that too. The first one had to have it all taken off and put back on because oh he had to shave. Oh, my God. <laughs> we had an army of queens wind up on the production line. Really, acres and acres and acres of fun for why we spent almost $10 on fun for ourselves. That's oh, right. my gosh. That's That's right. The, the shaving thing is hysterical. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I have that same problem. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. Fish pod. Sometimes. Pure hallucination. <laughs>
all night. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me. Rhonda, USA, up all night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719. Great Grandma Shear used to say, you just can't get enough of a good thing. And since I feel that teenage vixens from outer space are a good thing, I'll show you some more of them. As we continue with Revenge of the Teenage Vixens from Outer Space on USA, up all night. USA Up All Night, we take pride in showing movies that are just a little different. And Revenge of the Teenage Vixens from Outer Space is no exception. For instance, many people like to pour nuts on their frozen yogurt. But in our movie, we meet a guy who puts an interesting twist on that theme. <laughs> Burr, that's so cool. <laughs> different strokes for different folks, I always say. Now, back to our movie for more fun. Yeah. There will be more Revenge of the Teenage Vixen from Outer Space after these messages. So stay tuned to USA Up All Night. If you thought Sylvester Stallone and Clint Eastwood have gained a reputation for glorifying violence in their movies, you ain't seen nothing yet. Oh. Now, what kind of message are we sending our children? Here's Revenge of the Teenage Vixens from Outer Space on USA. Up! Oh. All night. Long-time success of Mr. Potato Head, a toy company has just released a similar line of toys. Mrs. Carrot Head, Mr. Cucumber Head, and Baby Green Bean Head. These veggie heads are scheduled to hit store shelves on Monday. We now return to Revenge of the Teenage Vixens from Outer Space on USA. Up! All night. USA Up All Night will return after these messages. If there are any film students watching our movie and taking notes, you may set your pencils down for a few minutes, because Rhonda says that. The high school years can be very difficult for young women. They want desperately to fit in. When they don't, some of them develop eating disorders. Some turn to drugs and alcohol, while others, like the teenage vixens from outer space, turn their classmates into giant bean sprouts. It's all part of growing up. Let's get back to our movie on USA. Up! All night. jammies and quit snacking and pay attention to this movie. Okay? Okay. Rhonda wants to hear from you. Write me. Rhonda, USA Up All Night. P.O. Box 5719, Beverly Hills, California, 90209-5719.
hard to believe that four teenage vixens from outer space can cause so much mayhem. Can you imagine how maniacal they'll be when they become adult vixens from outer space? That's one sequel you won't get me to see. Let's get back to our film on USA all night. The plot, A Revenge of the Teenage Vixens from Outer Space, comes to a neat, tidy, and well-formulated conclusion. That's it for Revenge of the Teenage Vixens from Outer Space. And I've got to say that the filmmakers dealt with the delicate issues of being a teenage vixen from outer space with taste and dignity. This brings us to the end of another show. But do not fear, Night Owls. You can watch Summer Job, which is next. And you can watch me again next week at the same time and place when we'll do something completely different all over again. Until then, remember from the Keeper of the Sizzle Kiss, if it's L.A., it's Rhonda. Up! All night. Nighty night.